new computer animation tutorial and what we're going to go into today is doing a zoom in, a zoom out type effect on some kind of uh, drawing or an image that you choose to draw here. So choice of your image is completely up to you. I chose to do a symbol uh, for one of my favorite bands, The Grateful Dead. And so I spent a little bit of time drawing this, so I'm not going to demonstrate how to draw the entire thing. Your subject will be entirely up to you, so you won't have to know how to draw this particular thing. So, um, But I do want to go over a couple of quick tools that I did find um, and utilize when uh, drawing this and that actually is your zoom tool functions which you haven't actually really utilized so far and it was very helpful for me to get these kind of like little details correct in the kind of edge of the skull here so just want to go over these really quick so you know that they're there and you can utilize them if you haven't already figured it out for yourself so if you click on the zoom in um, button this little magnifying glass it will zoom in on your project and then you can click on this control here to kind of drag or move around your project if you want to zoom in on a particular area to kind of make something um, you know a little more detailed or fix up an area you know so if there was something um, you know like with the edge of the face here that I wanted to get into correcting a little bit you know with this kind of like shape that comes in here uh, for instance, I could zoom in and work a little more closely, a little more carefully on, you know, kind of like a shape like that. And then I could do something like take this um, other color that I used to fill it in and I could kind of use that to go back and really make like, you know, nice pointy edge type lines, you know, if we're really getting into uh, details with some of these things. So using this option next to your magnifying glass lets you drag around or kind of correct things. So say for instance, maybe here's another spot I can fix really quick before I get into um, demonstrating what we're going to do with this project is that I could maybe um, cover up like this little part of the line, you know, that got a little bit off and then I could zoom, I could take this uh, pencil tool back go to this size again and then um, you know try to connect that line a little bit better and then zoom back out and you know clean that up a little bit so all right so you know what you're gonna take a minute to do right now is to draw whatever your object is and then you're ready to resume this video from where I am right now so um, one thing I will do is I am gonna fill in my kind of background space out here so let's just take any old color um, like that will do. And then the other thing I want to do is um, we want to start out with this object really small on our first frame. So we're taking this resizing tool right here and oh yeah that's right so I forgot it's going to kind of make the whole background small as well um, while I do this. So um, I will need to probably refill this background again. Um, so I'm going to start with a pretty small um, you know, and in the center is where you want to start with. And I'll just take my paint bucket tool again and fill this entire area out here. I will click on that little edge that was happening there on the square. Um, so again, we're doing basic zoom in or zoom out type thing. So we're just going to create a new frame here or a duplicate frame rather. Um, and then I'm going to take my enlarge tool and I'm just going to click and drag to expand to make this a little bit bigger and then I'll take my move tool and kind of move it back so it's still centered um, and then I'm just gonna make another copy frame and then again I'm gonna take my expand tool and just click and drag to expand this a little bit and then kind of move it so it's still um, in the center and then duplicate again expand a little bit more and then kind of just move it again make sure it's on the center another new frame and you kind of probably get the uh, pattern that I have going on by now um, you know just enlarging and then centering and creating a new frame so I'm gonna go back to the enlarge tool you know enlarge again take my centering tool and get this back centered I'm gonna scroll down a little bit here make sure I'm still centered good click again um, expand once more and I'm just gonna keep um, whoops I think I meant to move this one a little more centered there there we go so now this frame, actually this one, I'm going to hit the subtraction of because I didn't actually uh, center it. So I'm going to do another one, and I'm going to zoom all the way into a spot like this dark. So just the whole frame just goes completely dark at the very end. 
Um, again, expanding and then centering a little bit more um, and then another duplicate frame. And then I'm going to expand again and center and then duplicate frame. And then I'm going to expand again and we're getting pretty far in now. So maybe I'll put this kind of like there, duplicate one more time, um, expand. So maybe it'll be like, kind of like this here where it's just like the white and blue and then ex another copy frame here. So if we scroll all the way down to the end, you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna expand again and then move this so that it's basically all this black dark color. So that takes up the entire frame. So let's go ahead and give this a play. So it looks like I got 12 frames. I think that's plenty. Um, don't have to go any more than that. So let's see how this goes. So it's just a zoom in all the way on an image to basically like a black-ish frame. So that's pretty much the effect we're going with. Just simple zooming in or zooming out. You could do the other way as well if you uh, kind of want to work on your project like that. So um, yeah, that's all we're trying to do. A basic kind of zoom in or zoom out type effect on some kind of uh, shape symbol. Uh, it could be a symbol of your favorite team or band or um, you know anything that you can come up with. Just a favorite picture that you would like to try and draw. Okay, so uh, make sure that you save your projects. All right, I'll call this one Steely because that's the name of the symbol. Uh, animation public is cool. Or maybe I'll call it Steely Zoom. Just something so I remember that this is my Zoom project and the name. Um, animation public, fine. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Confirm you're not a robot. Say continue. And this should be all set. And then just to uh, want to remember the way to save for your drive is to hit this GIF button at the bottom here. That'll bring you to a new window if you're on uh, with my Mac. That's what it brings me to. I can right click on this and go to save. But if you are on your Chromebook, then hitting that button probably put it into your downloads folder, right? So um, yeah, anyways, this project is all set. Hope you guys have luck and have some fun getting creative with your own zoom in project.